In this video, we're going to talk about Corona materials in Cinema 4D. In the previous video, we started to work with really simple parameters in the materials, which uh, concerned the reflections and the refractions and the emissive effect that we are seeing in this render right now. So we saw how we can basically use two types of materials. First one is called the legacy corona material and the other one is the PBR material or physically based render material. And in this video in particular we're gonna concentrate more in the physical based render settings or physically based render materials. So we're going to experiment a little bit more with this and we're going to uh, check our other examples in the web. Now we can see here how we can create a multi-material and in the previous video I've used a lot the uh, selection of the real, uh, various polygons of the object and assigned different emissive materials. I'm gonna get rid of the emissive materials. I'm just gonna leave the uh, glass right there on the window and also the mirror and I'm gonna keep the emissive material only for the text on the top. And we can see also here how the light is coming from the outside. So how the image-based lighting that we set up a few lessons ago is still going to work. Some lesson ago we, we worked with IBL and that's gonna uh, still work. We can also deactivate here the neon sign of the text and we can see that right now we are just illuminating with that uh, external HDRI or image-based lightning. So we're going to proceed in this video. We're gonna start with a more natural look before we created kind of a science fiction look. Okay, let's start with textures, talking about textures and procedural maps. Now, we can use colors, we can use values in uh, materials, but we can also use something more complex, which are textures or procedural maps. Now, a procedural maps is something that you can change and you can modify an infinite number of times without losing quality and directly inside the software. For example, you have uh, like a noise procedural map and you can change it many times. You can scale it up and down. You can fix it and you have the also other procedural map like the checker or something that will represent wood or marble and so on. They will not look realistic. That's the, uh, let's say, counterpart but they will be always editable inside the software. So procedural maps are, let's say, that are kind of vector, while textures, they will be more realistic, but they are more similar to raster images. So the difference between textures and procedural maps is uh, that textures are more realistic, but cannot be modified inside Cinema 4D. They need to be modified, for example, in Photoshop or other software. While procedural maps are directly editable. We can also make a similar um, compare, comparison or with the raster and the vector graphics. So if we compare raster to vectors, raster will be more realistic, but vector graphics will be always editable or let's say that you can scale it up and down they will never lose quality they look more cartoonish again and less realistic that's the uh, not the, the the counterpart but the pro and cons it's uh, from either the textures or the procedural maps but let's see what textures are about so let's go here and looks for some textures. So if I type textures, you can see here that I can find a lot of images. And well, basically any raster image or any image that is composed by pixels can become a texture. 
So you need to be more specific. And if you want something that you need to repeat, like uh, if you have a, a big surface to cover, then you will type texture seamless. Texture seamless are textures that don't have seams uh, from one tile to the other. So they don't have cuts. And this is really important when you want to keep the continuity and you want to have something that is going to look good in your render, especially if you have large surfaces to cover again. This is something that needs to be repeated a number of times. So unless they are actually tiles, you don't want to see the tiling. You don't want to see the, the seams between one uh, tile and the other, except if they are tiles, of course. Now let's go here into another page and you, you can type here. Well, you can see many textures that can only be used once. So you need to understand if you need a texture that needs to be repeated a number of times or if you want a texture that is just going to be placed one time only. Now try to avoid perspective. Try to... the texture needs to be always uh, placed frontally. So you need the front view for your texture of a particular material. Now, for example, if you look for texture painting, you can see there are paintings and uh, uh, things like that. So in this case, you probably don't want to repeat this many, many times. So you have two types of textures, basically. One that can be repeated and the other one that probably will not be repeated. Also, you have texture unwrap that is not conceived in order to be repeated, but only to be placed once in order to, you can see here, create a lot, a lot of effects on one single object. So unwrapped means that it's um, a lot of pieces flattened into a rectangular texture or a square texture. And you will find also in our channel a uh, course in Armor Paint which is gonna help you to create really outstanding textures, unwrapped textures and also other types of textures that you can use for your 3D models. So these are the two main types. Uh, let's say single placement textures and uh, tiling textures. So textures that you can repeat many many times. And you, you will always make a selection which will fall into these two categories. PBR materials can be created with both, so single placement or tileable textures. Now PBR means physically based render and this is because it's trying to replicate what happens in reality, what are the actual physical effects in reality and usually when you look for PBR materials you will find a set of textures that you can use which is gonna help you to create really realistic materials for realistic rendering. So you either go here and search for your textures and create your own textures for example if you search for parquet if you want to create a wooden floor a wooden pavement you can go and search for or you can go into websites that are gonna give you the whole package. So they're gonna give you all the different effects that we're gonna see uh, one by one. So I'm going to duplicate this again and 